Hi, it's Carol. Just wanted to do a check-in with you guys. It's Monday. Uh, what's the date? It is May uh, 7th. May 7th. So we got past Cinco de Mayo, and um, Monday's important to set up your week. I don't know what you guys got going. I've got a lot of things going uh, this week. I think I'm going to finish the book and have it um, go to its next stage within the next four or five days. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, just finishing an online course by the end of the week and getting ready to do a hoarding presentation, which I am so excited about. This is going to be interesting and fun. I really am not a very good speaker, but that's not a good thing to say. So what I mean to say is I've been shy up until now, and now this is going to be an awesome opportunity. I've got some really interesting things planned for this uh, speaking in game engagement that I've been supported through. Really good uh, presentation. Hi, Nancy, Raina, Heidi, Raul. Um, so what I have planned is a surprise, so I can't say anything about it, but it's going to be May 25th, and i um, really excited about that. And it's really funny because um, I'm starting with a new life coach tonight at uh, night, every Monday night, because she's in Australia. So we um we're going to be meeting for for 12 intensive weeks and at the end of that i expect that a lot's going to change so you may see a lot of things changing on websites and other things like that but one of the things she had me do was the extended disc test which i have done hey ben um nancy hi um i've done um many times but you know what's so interesting is I have shifted so much in my life that when I took the test yesterday, well, first of all, the results came back inconclusive, so I don't even know what that means. Maybe I was trying to cheat the test or maybe I'm local. I don't know. I have no idea. But um, anyway, I did it again. And when I took the test, it was so interesting that I changed so much. Like during this time, I mean, you all know I lost what hundred and I don't even know fifteen pounds at this point or something like that. But I am really different. Like it used to be, I don't know if you've ever taken the test, <laughs> but it would show up like if I'm in the midst of stress that I would be like baseline, like all of my areas would just calm down and I'd just relax. But now it's like all over the place. And I think it's because, you know, other areas have grown and other areas have changed and other areas have gone down. It just looks different now. And hey, Bill. And so um, it's really interesting. Apparently, it says I'm a nice person. Um, it says I would be a good leader. It says I should be able to listen better. Now, that cracks me up because what do I do for a job? I listen. No, I don't talk. I listen. So that cracked me up. I could listen better. So apparently I'm talking too much. So that's useful. Um, and it's all data. It's all information. And um, you never you never know what you're going to learn on some of these tests. And my new life coach is going to use that so that she can gauge on how far she can push me or where she can encourage me to go or, you know, just the best way. Why, you like purple. I'm wearing blue. Um, all the the um, ways she's going to use this, I'm going to find out later tonight. I'm. This is really it's something I've waited for, for probably the last three and a half years, to be ready for this stage, and it's going to happen. I'm so excited. So um, today's a good day. Oh yeah, yeah. So you know how I always say I'm excited about things. Apparently my um, my test came back that I'm really excited about things. So does that mean that I'm excited so that the test came out that way? Or does that mean that I'm just an excited person and I'm not manic? I'm appropriately manic. I don't know. I don't know how this works. But, but it does say I'm excited and, I, and that's my kind of general character and that makes sense. I can encourage people and, you know, inspire. I, I don't know. But... It's really interesting. I'm listening to craziness going on behind me. So, um, hey, Julie. Um, so I'm just really excited about this week. And, you know, I'm a goal setter. So, you know, what goals do you guys got going? 
Uh, so many people I know have that are in my sphere are starting to do businesses and having Sebastian, there you are, um, having, um, they're, they're making money, they're having their ideal life, they're, they're home more with their kids, they're having more fun, they're doing more self-care, they're, they're, they're just making a lot more money and not listening to bosses that are frustrating them. And I'm so excited that that's happening because that's kind of been my goal this whole time. If I can do it, you can do it. That's what's happening. And I don't know what your dream is. I don't know if you're living your dream or not, but I am, I am. I'm absolutely living my dream. I'm so excited. Sebastian's coming soon. And um, my kids are gonna be here with me for Mother's Day. And I could ask for nothing better. Life is really good. My job is good. Uh, can't wait to get in the new office because we're out. We've pretty much outgrown it as the old office. As of this last week, I'm starting to see where we need more office space, and I, it's going to be a little while. But that's all I want to say. I do get excited about things, and I would love to know what your goals are for this week, and um, one step that you could take to get to your goal. Because really, without a goal, how do you, you know, move forward to get to that thing that you say you want to do? And um, there's my friend Deborah. Um, anyway, have a good week. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, and I will talk at you later. Bye.